New at 10, when disaster strikes, every second counts. Now a groundbreaking tool from Texas A&M is giving emergency crews a life-saving head start using both AI and drones. And tonight, our Marcelo Benito is taking a closer look. It's a story you'll only see on KHOU 11. Disasters destroy communities every single year. Raging floodwaters, powerful winds, deadly fires. Mother Nature's punch that leaves families scrambling to recover and rebuild. Time is critical. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, time is one of the biggest pressures during a disaster. It's why a team of researchers at Texas A&M University, led by PhD candidate Tom Manzini and Dr. Robin Murphy, set out to transform how quickly emergency responders assess damage after disasters. For years, drones would survey areas for hours, capturing critical footage that would need to be analyzed too much data. No one can look at it fast enough. You were getting the equivalent of 66 high definition movies at the end of the day. How can you go through that frame by frame? AI can do that. And that's where Clark came, comes in. The AI powered disaster response tool was created using images from drone footage from 10 major disasters, including Hurricane Harvey and Ian. The Clark system, on the other hand, is capable of looking through an entire neighborhood. You know, imagine a thousand homes or something like that in just a couple of minutes. Damage assessments that used to take days now take seven minutes per neighborhood. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. The AI processes the images using its own special algorithm and spits out critical analysis. In some cases, you, know, you could be counting individual roof tiles. Pinpointing damaged buildings and roadways. Red uh, are buildings that have sustained major damage. Yellow means minor damage. Green means no damage. Purple means completely destroyed. You can look at this image and say, man, there's a lot of purple there. Yeah. Uh, and so that's the sort of thing that emergency manager can look at and say, hey, let's make a snap judgment. Clark can even generate detailed spreadsheets with specific addresses and corresponding damage levels. This is here to help the responders help regular people. So a system like this can mean the difference between you being stranded for a day or three days. And it's already proven effective. Clark deployed during the 2024 hurricane season in Florida and Pennsylvania following hurricanes Debbie and Helene. The future, I think, I hope will in, uh, include more deployments, not just at hurricanes, but at all, all types of disasters. And interest in the Clark system is only growing. They've trained more than 100 emergency responders from 56 agencies across five states, and they have another class with dozens more signed up coming up on September 19th. Their model, they tell me, will continue to be tweaked and updated. Back to you. Wow, that, that is critical and definitely necessary because we get everything here. We do, yeah. And, and I wonder, you know, so, we, of course, the focus obviously on hurricanes, but imagine how much that would have benefited us during the derecho last year. Yep. You know, or trying to pinpoint exactly the neighborhoods that were hardest hit and just doing it in a faster right. way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, AI is going to be a, a powerful tool in every field, and everyone's afraid of it, you know, replacing jobs, but think but about how it's going to streamline where, things exactly absolutely. and help people out. Mm -hmm.